What is going on guys? Lux here from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. Today's video is going to be a question I get pretty commonly around this time of the year, which is I need help in anatomy. And so luckily for you guys, I am an anatomy TA as a fourth year, and so I'm going to give you my top tips on doing well in the class. All right guys, let's get to the video, let's get to the tips without any fluff. Quick introduction for any of you guys that are new uh, to the channel, my name is Laksh. I am a fourth year medical student here in Texas and uh, we are gonna talk about how to do well in anatomy. It's probably one of my favorite classes. So if you're struggling, I totally get it. There's a lot of stuff you gotta understand. So how do you make sense of it all? I'm gonna give you a couple of tips and advice you can use, take it with you. This is what worked for me to make sure that I ace the practical as well as the multiple choice portion of the test. And if you guys have more questions, comment down below. So the first thing I'll give you is how to prepare for your exams. It's pretty hard, especially when you have a lot of things to uh, cover on how you want to approach it. So what I would do is during the last week before my test, so let's say the test was Friday, we're looking at Saturday, Sunday, uh, Monday of the week before. Make a list of all the things that you dissected out or you're supposed to identify. Usually your dissection guide or whatever may have a list. At the very end, if not, make a list at the end of every lab. What did I identify? What do I need to make sure I can identify in the future? And then um, let's say you have nine labs that you have to uh, study for for your test on Friday. What I would do is then go to lab on like a Monday. I would usually skip class, so if this doesn't work for you, you're just gonna have to find other hours. Um, but I would go to the lab in the morning when everybody else would be in lecture. So I would do three labs worth uh, review. I would go through my list and try to find every single thing uh, on one to two cadavers um, for lab one to three. On Tuesday, I would do lab uh, four to six. And then finally, I would wrap it up on Wednesday with lab um, seven to nine. And then on Thursday, I would just go back and focus on the things that I struggle with. So if I really wasn't able to find an artery really well, or I would be nervous if that was ever on the test, then I would try to find it on a different cadaver. That way on Thursday where everybody else is stressing about the test, I am more focused on just on my weaknesses. And this is for the practical portion of the test. You can make it even more effective. If let's say your test is still on Friday, start studying like the, the Wednesday before the exam and do this uh, technique, but do it twice. So go through three labs on Wednesday, then another three labs on the two, uh, Thursday, and final uh, three labs on Friday when no one else is in the lab. And then Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, try to review those labs again. You'll be quicker and try to do it on a different body if you can. That way you can see the little variations in anatomy. And then for the last part of the week, just focus on your weaknesses because then you've had much more repetitions than your classmates have. They probably only looked at the dissections when they were dissecting and then probably one before the test. And they're freaking out because there's a lot of stuff to do. But you're probably seeing them now three to four times if you make a list of things you have to go through and make sure you're able to identify it on a few bodies. Um, so I love that structure. It really helped me. Whenever I had to do the identification portion of the test, I always did well. I wasn't really stressed. So now getting to how can you identify um, your structures better? I would recommend a flashcard system because anatomy is very visual, like Anki. So if you use Anki, great. If you don't, uh, I have plenty of videos on my channel. Um, you can check out how I use Anki. I'll link one down below. But try to find uh, an Anki deck or create one um, where you have the images from your dissection. So use your dissection guide and take screenshots of the images or use netters or use some online thing that you may have. And then use the occlusion tool from Anki. So I'll give a little screenshot how that works up here. And basically the way the occlusion tool works is if I have seven different labels on one picture, then I can make a rectangle around every seven um, items. So then Anki is going to make one flashcard per item. So that way, if I have seven labels, it's going to give me a flashcard where it only ask about one of them and I have to label it, which is perfect for anatomy, especially when you have to deal with things uh, that are really small and close together. So for example, if you're doing some of the nerves or arteries in the neck, things are small, things are close by to each other. So if you can do a better job of identifying them on a flashcard, it's gonna be a little bit easier in lab. So use a tool like Anki. Um, maybe your school already has one for your dissection guide. There are some free ones online as well. If not, just make your own really quickly. Every day before a lecture, take a book like Netters and then take a screenshot if you have an ebook version um, and then make the occlusion uh, items on Anki and then use those before you go to lab, after you go to lab, that way you can refresh and then before your test. That's gonna help you do pretty well on the identification portions of the test. Combine that with the first tip and you're gonna be able to easily label stuff um, for your test. 
Now let's get to the multiple choice. So obviously anatomy is just not like, what is this muscle? It's also, how does this muscle work? What would happen if things went wrong? So you have to start thinking in that type of aspect, you know, what nerve innervates a specific muscle? What would happen if this nerve wasn't working? You know, what functions uh, would be uh, messed up in somebody that had some, some kind of injury? So there's a method that I love using that I like to call the Excel method, but there are other YouTubers that teach something pretty similar. Ali, uh, which is a pretty awesome uh, med school uh, YouTuber I'll link his channel down below. You can check out his Excel method too. Um, but basically the whole idea is use something like Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel and have a question and answer section. So have your questions for anatomy. What nerve innervates this muscle? Um, what four muscles are in this group? Like what four muscles are considered infrahyoid? Um, what are the branches of the external carotid? And then have the answers on the right side uh, or the next column. Then when you're studying, just white out um, your answer column and go through the questions one by one. Um, if you have something you struggle with, I like to personally make them red. And that way I know like tomorrow before I wake up, make sure you do those questions again. Um, but it's a great way of keeping track of all the things you need to know and still not being overwhelmed by having too many questions. Um, sometimes Anki can be pretty overwhelming because you feel like you have a lot of flashcards, but you can quickly get through an Excel sheet because the questions are pretty short. So what nerve innervates the muscle? What's the arterial supply of a muscle? You know, uh, what are the branches of something? Where does a nerve leave your brain uh, in the skull? Those are all questions you can ask. They'll, they'll be questions that you have to answer on your anatomy test. So start thinking in that type of context, you know, what would go wrong if something screwed up and um, put those in your form of a question. I think you guys will do great. Um, if you guys have more questions about anatomy and how to study, as I mentioned, I'm a TA, so be happy to help you comment down below. I can make another video, but hopefully this video was helpful. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. Again, comment down below with any questions, other classes you guys are having issues with, I'll be more than happy to help. But that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, my friends.